The Winchester Model 1897 pump action shotgun, known as the combat shotgun in the game, returns in Call of Duty World War II. It has high damage at close range, as expected with any shotguns when compared to other weapon classes. Its one shot kill range is good, but slightly shorter than the M30 Luftwaffe drilling, and it extended out to a couple of meters. At the edge of your effective range, you're likely to need two shots to kill an enemy, and beyond this range, you deal no damage. The pellet spread is standard, and aiming does nothing to your accuracy or the tightness of the spread, so firing from the hip will prove as effective as aiming. The magazine side is the highest in its class at 7 rounds, but the slow fire rate is perhaps one of the biggest disadvantages due to a nature of the pump action shotgun. Its overall performance is questionable however, as the combat shotgun has a polarized performance, noticeably the lethal range in which you should get a one-shot kill. For whatever reason, there'll be an instance where the combat shotgun failed to kill even if you are up close. So it is recommended to be prepared to fire another shot or simply do a melee attack if your opponent is injured. Also, it is recommended to hit the center mass of the body if possible, otherwise some pellets may miss. In hardcore, the situation is different, as getting one shot kill is easy thanks to a lower health setting. But the combat shotgun is perhaps the most challenging one to use in hardcore due to its slowest fire rate compared to other shotguns with the same ability to kill in one shot, even at the edge of their effective ranges. With a slow fire rate, you want to focus on getting close to the enemy for a maximum damage potential for a one shot kill. For the class recommendation, we will elect the Expeditionary Division, with an ability to use Dragon's Breath Fire Shells. You get 4 shells regardless of whichever shotgun you use, and it can be effective at the extent of your reach, or against group of enemies. Once fired, these shells will cause a burning damage will result in death within seconds. However, these seconds are enough for the enemy to return fire to you, so be mindful. Also, at the edge of your effective range, the fire damage may not be enough to secure you a kill, so be sure to fire another quickly to finish him off. One thing to be careful is the armored division enemies, as the fire damage will deal little to no damage to them due to an increased protection. Overall, it might be best to use them right at the start. Its unique damage is perhaps the most appealing aspects of the fire shells, plus extra shells for extra ammunition supply. Other abilities of the Expeditionary are Equipment Focuses, with 1 lethal and 1 tactical grenades permitted, longer throwing distance, and resupply from dead enemies. These are helpful as they will help you to get close to the enemy for a one-shot kill. An alternative here is the Mountain Division with better stealth abilities. For the attachments, we will maximize the combat shotgun with a steady aim and the advanced rifling. Steady aim will tighten up the pellet spread, making it more lethal and consistent. And the result is more one-shot kill potential outside of your typical range, which is close range. The advanced rifling here is a highlight, as it will further increase the range of the combat shotgun. It would net you an ability to secure a kill at the range where you deal no damage. But bear in mind that you need at least 3 shots to kill with the advanced rifling at the edge of its range. Still, it is better than not be able to hit your opponent at all. For the equipment, choose either the sticky grenade or satchel charge. These two options are perfect for close range as they are quick to deploy. For tactical grenade, choose either the British stun grenade or gas grenade to slow down or impair any enemies that are further away or when they have the upper hand. For the basic training, choose flanker. This perk will make you remain hidden from the enemy's recon aircraft while moving. Useful for when you need to flank the other team from the side or behind. If you have the mountain division, choose any of the perks that helps you with the movement speed instead. For the pistol, any of them will work but be sure to pick up enemy's weapon for a better versatility to cover otherwise the lack of range for the shotgun. The tip with the combat shotgun is to get close, otherwise your one shot kill ability will be lost as you're likely to need two or three shots to kill. In this game, the run and gun style seems to be less favorable as getting caught in a mid sprint will usually grant you an unprepared stance and not ready to fire. 
if you are suspecting an enemy within your sight, it is best to walk as you'll be able to fire more readily. One trick to make any shotguns effective is to control tight areas of the interior like a building with a heavy traffic in the center of the map of St. Mary Dumont, or set up an ambush between small entrances on Gibraltar. Be sure to switch up your areas of control as the enemies will have a different plan to approach to your location as well as grenades. Talking about the grenades, be sure to use them frequently with either lethal and tactical grenades of your choice to gain the upper hand in a situation where you are seemingly about to lose a gunfight or the enemy is further away from your effective range. Remember that you can resupply with the expeditionary division really often. Also, picking up a weapon off the ground as a secondary to replace a pistol will help you fight off against distant enemy or when you find yourself out in the open. Once inside, switch to the combat shotgun for a clean sweep. Overall, the combat shotgun offers a good one-hit kill range and best magazine capacity in its class, but falls short on its fire rate and somewhat inconsistent performance at times. A missed shot will leave you really vulnerable as the pop-action shotgun cycle performs for a rechamber, and the range drop-off means that you will need two or more shots to kill. This will occur if you find yourself outside of the close range comfort. If you play to its strength by simply get close, either when you are flanking from the side or behind, or choose to control a consistent interior, then the combat shotgun should net you a comfortable one-shot kills time and time again. The Expeditionary Division's abilities will help you close the gap between you and your opponent with more gunfights tilting in your favor. With fire shells, extra equipments, and more to help you win the gunfight and get more one-shot kills overall with the combat shotgun. And that's all for the Weapon Guide Express of the combat shotgun. For the next video is the M1 Grand. This is Asian Rajiv, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.